Do you need to be concerned about the cholesterol in your food or should you be watching the saturated fat? That's what one of our viewers wants to know. So if you're watching your cholesterol or just trying to keep it healthy, what's more important is that you watch the saturated fat in your diet because that is more likely to increase your blood cholesterol than the amount of cholesterol in your food or the dietary cholesterol. Now, of course, your genes play a role, so it's not entirely up to the food that you eat because you can't have any control over those that genetic profile that you present. But in general, foods that can lower blood cholesterol are foods that contain soluble fiber. So soluble fiber um, such as beans and oats and fruits and vegetables and nuts, they will actually bind cholesterol and help your body get rid of it. Uh, also, polyunsaturated fats such as vegetable oils and fatty fish like salmon, they also are protective because they will lower the bad cholesterol or LDL cholesterol. And then we also have products called plant stanols and plant sterols, which are naturally occurring in plant foods concentrated and then added back to foods. And they can also help block the absorption of cholesterol. Another thing you can do you want to lower your cholesterol? Exercise. Exercise will increase your good cholesterol, the protective one. And if you're trying to eliminate the foods that are going to increase your risk for um, elevated blood cholesterol, watch your saturated fats. And that includes things like coconut oil and palm oil and animal fats. It includes all trans fats. And you know those are in fried foods and you see them in products. Um, but also being overweight can also affect the blood fats in your body. So your diet should be one with lots of oats and barley and whole grains and beans and nuts and fruits and vegetables. Soy is good. Fatty fish is good. Lean meats are absolutely fine. And the American Heart Association says an egg a day is okay for healthy adults.